What's up guys? As you all can tell from the title of this video, it is going to be an epic, awesome video. Holy Harley Davidson Mania. Check it out. This whole stack of clothing is nothing but Harley Davidson. We'll get to that in just a minute. Before we get to those, um, I did hit up a yard sale last weekend and I did not have a chance to upload the video but let's jump right into it. As you can see, this first pair of Focus right there. These are Crocs. Um, they do have a little spot right there, but that will come off. I've already tested it. Now, nothing too fancy about these. Um, blue pair of women's size three. The next pair are a little more... Um, are worth just a little bit more money. Let me turn them so where you can see. Anytime you see that, pick them up. These are also, I thought they may have been men's, but they're not, they're women's. Again, I haven't cleaned anything at all. <clears throat> uh, but these are Crocs, and they are women's size 11. Pretty nice looking uh, Crocs, I must admit. If they were my size, I'd definitely wear those. Next, we have a pair of Skechers. They are in extremely good condition. It does not look like they've been worn very much at all whatsoever. Just from telling, just from telling by the way the bottoms are. <clears throat> and lastly, these Nike shoes. Uh, these are men's size 12. They are dual fusion. Um, I'm actually going to keep these for myself. I was going to resell them. I tried them on and they're in actually really, really good condition. Um, these will be good for when I just go out thrifting or somewhere. I have another pair of Nikes that I I wear just on special occasions. Um, each one of those I paid a dollar a piece for, so that's one, two, three, four dollars <clears throat> right there. And this lady that I bought all those shoes from, she had a bunch of random shirts hanging up. I'm sorry about the wrinkles. Um, They've been in a bag for over a week. Well, actually, since last Saturday. But this is a Brooks Brothers Focus green button-up shirt. And these were also one dollar. These are the, are the type of yard sales that I absolutely love to go to. <clears throat> That's not overpriced, and people just want to get rid of stuff. Um, this was also a Brooks Brothers blue polo shirt size medium It'll focus which it won't but anyways that is a size medium and it's not going to focus maybe I can do it like this <clears throat> there you go this is also a Brooks Brothers um, button up shirt it is size medium it's a really nice shirt. It is, is it long sleeve. Yeah, it's long sleeve. <clears throat> All these clothes again. Clothes again were just one dollar. <clears throat> um, this was a Brooks Brothers um, sweater. It's lamb's wool and cashmere. Anything that you see with cashmere on it, pick it up. It's worth some money, especially Brooks Brothers. Um, I couldn't pass it up for just one dollar. So that was all. I only made three stops. Because when you get to that, you'll understand why. So all these clothes, the shoes, the Crocs, was at one stop. Um, the second one I went to, it was fill a bag for one dollar. And they didn't really have a whole lot of stuff. And I could tell this lady was kind of struggling financially so I picked up these Talbot's flawless five pocket jeans that are brand new with the tags um, focus on it there it is that's like a blue um, corduroy design to it then I picked up I also picked up 
Sorry guys, I'm doing this with one hand. Um, a pair of J. Crew women's jeans. Let's see what size they are. I think they're size four. And I also picked up, last but not least, get this laid out. That was kind of funny at first. It's an old vintage NASCAR shirt. The brand is Kudzu, K-U-D-Z-U. Um, it says back on target. Um, it's the McDonald's car. I'm not much in a NASCAR, so I don't really know. But it is also from 1996. Let me see if I can focus on it. <clears throat> yep, 1996. She told me who the driver was. I don't know. Sorry, NASCAR fans. I'm not into NASCAR. I'll show you the back side of it. Hopefully next next week I'll have a backpack that has a, uh, a clip for my GoPro. So when I go to these places, I can actually film it's just kind of odd walking up holding a GoPro. And plus, it kind of is inconvenient whenever you are trying to go through stuff. I've tried it. It just does not work. But anyways, that's a pretty cool find. Um, she didn't really have too, too much. Just the two pairs of jeans and the shirt for um, a dollar for the whole bag. I gave her a little, a, a little bit more money. I gave her a five dollar bill. Um, she was very appreciative of it. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to do this video on this stuff right here. And before I get into it, let me just tell you the story about how I even found this stuff. Um, I use the, the Yard Sale app, Yard Sale Treasure app. And where I live, there's not very many yard sales every weekend. And to get to places where I found this stuff and all of that stuff, it's like an hour to an hour and a half drive one way. It is kind of inconvenient, but when you find stuff like this, the drive is well worth it. So I've been driving around, you know, I went to those yard sales. Excuse me. I went to a few more, and I was kind of losing hope. So, and it... I came across one that was like a community yard sale and I drove down to this little cul-de-sac in a really nice neighborhood and a guy had two Harley Davidsons um, sitting in front of his garage and had his garage open and I could see a bunch of motorcycle parts and right outside the garage in between the two motorcycles was this really long rack of clothing that an old lady was looking through. And I noticed that she picked up a shirt that said Harley Davidson. Well, then she picked up a second shirt. It said Harley Davidson. And I walk over, and I kid you not, this was only about half the stack of clothing that she had, or that this gentleman had on, on racks. Because as quick as I got over there, this elderly lady just started grabbing as much Harley Davidson as possible so I'd done the same thing. I didn't even look at tags. I didn't, if, if, if the shirt was a genuine Harley Davidson shirt, like if it had a Harley Davidson logo on it, I, I grabbed it. I didn't look at the price. I mean, they could have been 20 bucks. I don't know. But obviously they were not $20 because this old lady was grabbing as much as possible. And this was one of the first shirts that I saw. Um, all of this is Harley Davidson. I'm not going to go through the sizes, but I will just, let you all glance through them real quick real quick um it's american muscle harley davidson uh you probably can't see that but it is from 2005 all of this stuff is in really really good condition i don't think yeah this one also had a backside just bear with me guys as i try to flip this stuff over um <clears throat> with one hand it's harley davidson of salt lake city utah awesome next one I couldn't well no it's not this one it's the one after it this one is for it's a Harley Davidson 2010 I believe yeah have a nice little graphic there on the front 
the back side of it. Again, I apologize about the camera. I'm trying to do this with one hand. The back of it was really neat. It's a Savannah, Haunted Savannah Harley Davidson on River Street in Savannah, Georgia. Cool graphics. Nice shirt. And at the very end, I will tell you what I paid for each shirt. This one was, I thought, was really, really cool. Um, it's a Harley Davidson classic of motorcycling. But what caught my eye after I picked it up, look at the year. 1996. So that is a vintage 1996 Harley Davidson motorcycle shirt. Luckily, some of these are on hangers, so I can go through them just a little bit quicker. Um, actually, the rest of these are on hangers. So it's Harley Davidson Crossroads, Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Really cool shirt, vintage 1996. <clears throat> and I'll just go ahead and tell you how much I paid for all these shirts. I paid $2 a piece for everything Harley Davidson. Unbelievable. Again, Harley Davidson. A uh, cute little women's shirt. I think, yeah, see there's the price tag right there. $2. I couldn't believe it. I was thinking maybe 5 or 10 a piece. But, see that one was even priced at a dollar. Um, he was trying to do the math at the end. Because some was marked 2 or 4 or $1. I said, you know what? I said, those are worth more than a dollar. I'll give you $2 a piece for everything. He said, okay, cool. This is a pretty neat um, Harley Davidson shirt for a lady. Try and do this with one hand. Really nice graphics. Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. That's pretty cool. Uh, this was a, a ladies' uh, Harley Davidson graphic t shirt as well. <clears throat> and it is from Tifton Harley Davidson in Tifton, Tennessee. Uh, she had that priced at $1. I gave her two because it's it's well worth it. This next one was priced at two dollars as well. Most of this, or actually the rest of this, is it's it's all women's, but nonetheless it will still sell very good. It'll focus again. Most of it was coming from like the Pigeon Forge, Tennessee area. Um, they're just have some little like lint and dust on it. Nothing that that's stained up or anything. Um, this one was priced at two dollars. Focus. Yep. Very nice Harley Davidson logo. I think this one may be a, a men's um, or no, it's a women's for sure. Very nice. <clears throat> this one could be a men's. I'm not sure. They had it priced at, if you'll turn around, $2. <clears throat> That's a cute little shirt. Smoky Mountain Harley Davidson, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I'm trying to go through these kind of quick. He had five on that one, but then again, <clears throat> I paid more on some, so he came down on others. Now, this is a men's um, Harley Davidson hoodie. See if I can lift that up. Um, actually, this one's from Peterson's Key West Harley Davidson in Florida, and it is a 2012. That's a nice hoodie. It's black. <clears throat> Had one dollar on this. Somebody, no, yeah, somebody cut the the neckline out of it, so. But it will still sell. It's a 2012 Smith Brothers Harley Davidson out of Johnson City, Tennessee, which is not too far from where I live. So, you guys, we still got all of this to go through. And, there, and there's still some really good items left. This one here, he was asking $2 for. It's a men's Harley Davidson t shirt with a dragon on it. Um, the reason why. There's a dragon on the front of it. Is 
there's a place called Tale of the Dragon, and it has 318 curves in 11 miles. And a lot of people will take their motorcycles, uh, sports cars, and they go, and they drive, they drive the, the tail. Um, it's in the Smoky Mountains. Um, it's in Maryville, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee is what that says. That's a cool shirt. That should do really good. <clears throat> This one here, it's a nice little ladies shirt. Smoky Mountain, Harley Davidson, Maryville, Tennessee. Uh, the rest of these shirts are fairly new, but nonetheless, um, she was wanting $2 for it. That's a cute shirt. The Rider's Destination, that's Tail of the Dragon, or the Dragon Tail. <clears throat> um, she was only wanting a dollar for this one. Again, I paid $2 for it. Um, it's an orange focus there there it is short sleeve hoodie style shirt I'm trying to go through these fairly quick for you all <clears throat> she was wanting two dollars for this one or he was I keep saying she <clears throat> oh it has the the school on it I lay it down school on the front like that. It's actually like a sequence design. Pretty nice. This was Thunder Creek Harley Davidson, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Pretty cool shirt. Whoops. The hanger fell off this one. Give me just a second. Do this with one hand. She wanted $2 for this one. <clears throat> Most of them were, were, you know, priced very reasonable. Um, and then we have this one. Let's see how much she wanted. Two dollars for it. It's a baby blue. He wanted two dollars for it, not she. Uh, it's a pretty nice shirt, actually. I like it. <clears throat> but it's women's. That was Fort Myers, Florida. Harley Davidson 2012. And we're getting towards the end of them. This is a pretty neat shirt. It's a ladies long sleeve button up front. <clears throat> Has embroidery on the front and the back. I think it's pretty neat. And she and he wanted See if we can get to turn around. Two dollars. Looks like we just have a couple left. <clears throat> this one was my favorite one. Uh, he wanted two dollars for it. And it will do. Let's see if I can do it like that. There we go. And he just wanted two dollars for this one as well. I mean, look at look at the graphics on it. I mean, it's extremely nice. And the back of it is just as nice as the front. I love that shirt. If it was my size in a men's, I would, I'd rock this shirt. Very nice shirt. Just two more shirts left. <clears throat> just two more, right? This one here was, focus, $2. It's also a Harley Davidson ladies button front shirt. There's the Harley Davidson. At first, I wasn't sure if it was Harley Davidson, and I started looking at the uh, <clears throat> the buttons, and they actually say Harley Davidson. Very nice graphics on the back as well. And last but not least, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. I have this Harley Davidson women's pink plaid button front shirt with a little Harley Davidson logo <coughs> below it. <coughs> Excuse me. Losing my voice. Um, has a Harley Davidson spell out on the back. Overall, these, this is a very nice quality shirt. Has a weird looking buttons on the back and it's, it's supposed to be like that. And again, they wanted two dollars for that one as well 
So let's recap and count how many Harley Davidson shirts I've found at this one yard sale. There's one, two, three, if I can grab the next one, four, five, six, seven, <clears throat> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one Harley Davidson shirts at one yard sale guys. One yard sale 21 Harley Davidson shirts that was $42 plus $5 that's 47 um, the other yard sale I think another $5 so we have 42 and 10 that's $52 21 Harley Davidson shirts guys oh my gosh I was so ecstatic and if I had been there just a little bit sooner I probably could have got another 20. That's how many she had in her arms. Now, how she was carrying that many, I have no idea. But she was carrying a humongous armful. But I expect to get anywhere from 15 to $50 for these. Maybe not quite 50, maybe 40. Even at $10 a piece, that's 200 and, I don't know, $210 profit. I mean, $210 in, in sales on the low end. On the high end, I'm probably looking $500. So thank you all so much for watching, and, and holy Harley Davidson galore. I hope you guys have a great week. If you, if you can, get out this weekend, go thrifting, go to a yard sale, buy a storage unit. Catch me on my next one. Have a good day.